In this video, I'm going to show you an AI video editing tool that is going to literally blow your mind. It is a software called Opus Clip that literally allows you to take long form pieces of content and turn them into multiple optimized short form videos that are destined to go viral on social media with just a single click of a button. So without any further ado, let me show you how it works. So once you land on Opus Clip, this is what you are going to see. And all you need to do is copy and paste a link here to the video that you want to use. So I'm going to use this video of mine. I'm just going to copy uh, the link and then I'm going to paste it right here. And as you can see, it's going to detect that it is a video, right? And now you can choose your settings in which you want to generate the clips. So first of all, we have the caption language setting here, which I obviously want to keep that on English. And it's going to show you how many credits it's going to use with your current settings. So basically Opus Clip works based on a credit system and they also have a free forever plan. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but basically here you can uh, choose your processing time frame. So you can choose whether you want to get your clips earlier or, la or later. And if you choose earlier, then, you know, it's going to use up more credits. If you use later, then it's going to use quite a lot less. You can also choose which part of the video you want to make the clips from. So for example, this is a 12 minute, 43 second video. And I can choose if I only want it to generate clips from the first six minutes, for example. But if you're looking for the best results, what I recommend you to do is just to let it run throughout the entire video. And if you select a time frame that is under one minute, it's not going to do anything but reframe the video for you and add the captions. You can also choose the preferred clip length here. So you can choose whether you want it to be auto, under 30 seconds, between 30 and 60, or even more. Now here's how Opus Clips model basically works. In the first five to 10 seconds, it finds a hook for your video to make sure that it actually grabs people's attention when they first see your video. Then after that, it goes into context and then it tries to basically end at a point that makes sense. Now, one of the biggest strengths of Opus Clip is that you get actually a lot of clips, even from not that long videos and most of them are going to be usable. So now we want to go ahead and click on get clips in one click. And then it's basically going to uh, go ahead and analyze the certain video that you pasted into it and make these short form clips from it. So once it's done with it, this is what you get. And as you can see, uh, it even gives it like a title for the certain clip. So for example, I have this one here, uh, the second one, and you can see it actually made seven clips from just this 13 minute video. It also gives you a virality score, and that's just basically going to give you an idea about how likely it is to actually go viral on Instagram Reels, Shorts on YouTube or TikTok. Obviously this score is not always 100% guarantee, but it gives you a pretty good idea. Now don't get me wrong, this software is not trying to replace your more advanced video video editors like Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut. It's more like an efficiency tool that you can use in your workflow as a freelancer or just a creator in general to create a bunch of these amazing like short form clips without having to spend a bunch of time on curating them. Now from here, you can actually either go ahead and download the video by clicking here on download HD, or you can also edit it. This is how the editor actually looks. Once you enter it, you can either go ahead and add this intro caption or not. Uh, this just basically gives like an AI generated title uh, with some context on the first frame of the video. Uh, but other than that, you can also set the beginning and end point here. And you can see we have the, the transcript of the entire clip right here. And so if you want to set something as the beginning point of your clip, then you just go ahead, select a certain word where you want it to end. And then you click on set as start point. And you can see that it sets it as a start point. I'm just going to use the original one. And uh, you can also change the end point uh, by going ahead and uh, you know, clicking on the certain word and then clicking on set as end. Now, other than this, in case the AI got any of the words wrong, you can also just double click any word and then adjust it, uh, you know, kind of like edit it however you need to like this. You can also click on any of the words and change the color of it, or even go ahead and add an emoji that goes with it. Now, if you want to customize the style of your video, you can come here to brand and then here you can choose whether you want to have uh, three lines per page or one line per page uh, when it comes to the text like so. You can also choose the caption position so you can make it top, middle or bottom. Uh, I think the auto one actually 
places it well most of the time. You can also choose a screen overlay here if you want to add your own branding like your podcast logo or something like that into one of the corners by just clicking here and then selecting the PNG file or the JPEG file that you want to use. You can also choose your font here. So, you know, you have all of these different fonts that you can choose from. If I wanted to use the bold font instead, I can just click on that. I can also adjust the, the weight of it, the size of it, whether I want it to be italic or underlined or not. So you can make all those different adjustments. Uh, you can make your text only uppercase or uh, both lowercase. You can choose your font color here, your font stroke, your font shadow, uh, the highlights or keyword um, colors. And also another thing that a lot of people don't know about is the different layout settings. So you can choose the fill, the uh, fit version, and you can also choose the split one. So the split one is amazing for stuff like podcasts. It's going to show both of the people at the same time. The fit one is great if you are trying to use more like a 16 by nine video. That's not necessarily good looking if it's stretched out. And then you want to use the fill one whenever you want it to fill up the entire screen. They also have a pretty cool feature, which is basically the moving speaker ability. And that's just basically going to track you and keep you in the middle of the frame, even if you are walking around in the video. You can also reframe your videos if you just click on it and drag it like this. And you can obviously make it bigger or smaller as well. Opus Clip also has a brand templates feature which you are able to access by going onto your profile and then clicking on brand template. And here you are able to set up the exact kind of look for your captions uh, and their positioning that you want. And then you can just go ahead and click here on save template and uh, then you are able to you know even name it if you want so i'm just going to name this talking head for example and uh, you can actually save up to five preset templates at the moment so when you are editing a clip all you have to do is come here and then choose the certain template that you already saved and then you will get that exact look that you already set up and that exact color scheme now once you're happy with it you can click here on save and compile for all of these different clips, you can just go ahead and again, click on download right here and it's going to download it to your browser. And they also have an auto post feature. And that basically allows you to connect your Instagram reels or TikTok to Opus Clip. And then just through literally clicking one button, you can post it to your profile and uh, boom, that's pretty much it. So again, let's just take a second to appreciate how we created seven clips from literally one click of a button from my 13 minute video. This used to take me hours to do so. This is pretty cool in my opinion. Now, if you want to try out Opus Clip, go ahead and click the first link in the description below. All you have to do is enter your email and that's pretty much it. You can try out their plans for free and even their paid plans are super affordable. For example, with the annual plans, it comes out to just around 10 cents per clip. And they also have a free forever tier, so nobody is left out.